company picked 12 tracks, I picked 12 and then the producer picked 12 and we pretty much came up with a similar sort of selection. And they were all um, songs I'd written at a time in my life that were they're about yeah, very emotional, personal songs. I mean, there's a song, I mean, I hate, to, it's, it's, I hate saying this, but there's a song about my mother and there's a song about, um, you know, a first love and uh, my nieces are in there somewhere. I mean, it sounds like this is like a family album, but it's not so much that. I mean, there are, there are a lot more serious songs on there about life and it's really life in general, but, you know, um, there are personal things there too. And of course, I love to read and there are a few books have inspired um, a few of my songs as well. And I Love You Always Forever was one of those. I Love You Always and Forever went to number five in the UK and made Donna Lewis a household name across the globe. The fact that Lewis co-produced, wrote and sung the single makes its success even more important. Oh, it's fantastic for me because, you know, at the end of the day I can sit back and think, yeah, I've written the song and I haven't had to um, produce it in a, in a trendy way or a fashionable way. This is how I wrote the song, this is how I produced it, and fortunately people have loved it just the way it is, which I, I think says a lot for the song at the end of the day. I mean, you know, the song wins through. I mean, you don't have to do this, you know, incredibly different production and make it sound strange or, you know, weird, whatever. You know, it just smacks you in the face, really. It's just one of those songs that you can remember after hearing, you know, the first time. I mean, the hardest thing now is to kind of tell people, OK, you know, this is my first song, but I don't do this all the time. There are other more interesting songs on the record. Recently, Donna Lewis released her second single off her album, Now in a Minute. The track is called without love. That's the song, the only one on the record that I didn't write lyrics for. This is by a friend of mine called Dave Taylor. And, um, you know, he's thrilled that this is on the record. And it's, it's a great track. I mean, I, I, when I first read the lyrics, I thought they were a great set of lyrics. And, um, and it's all about really keeping a love alive between two people and how hard it is to keep a relationship going and you really have to work at it. Um, it's, you know, kind of a serious song. And, and it, I think it's, more ethereal than I Love You Always Forever. It's, it's a catchy song, but I think it has more atmosphere. And, um, you know, I just hope it, you know, does quite well. I really think timing is everything. I, I think, you know, years ago I would have given my right arm to get a deal, but now when I think about it, it was the right thing. I, I was meant to wait this long and, and have my album out now because I've had all this time to write a lot of really good songs and, you know, I have my second album written, ready to go. And, you know, the timing is right, for, especially for women in, in the 90s anyway. I mean, the, the more women singer-songwriters are coming through. And my music just seemed to hit the right spot in America, so it's fate. <laughs> A lot of hard work, but I mean, you know, I think it's, it's the, right, the right time. <laughs>